Today I'm going to show you a six time order challenge in one point. And in this video we're going to learn how to use armbar jump to attack uh, AP types. So to get the 25 uh, armor you get for this in this year's game. We go fight from Louis Pure Codes where we go set a red ham pipeline using easy open CD to be able to protect them over there. All you will need for this tutorial is going to be your robot, uh, computer, uh, to know how to use Arba Java, and the webcam I would suggest uh, it's a Logitech G920 or 360 if you don't have one. If you do have one, I suggest you find one. Uh, and finally, you will, do need, you will need a single sleeve. I do have one in the description below if you want to check it out. Alright, so let's start with Alright, so now we go actually install well, um, the dependencies needed for uh, using Able Tags. So we're gonna, since we're using Armbar Java, we're just gonna go down, uh, look for the installation instructions here. So it says we have to go to the, and download the AAR files, which are Android artifact files, and we uh, we can upload them on Armbar Java. So we can use code from an external library. So let's go to the releases page, page and uh, note that we are, it says uh, 1.5.g is basically the same thing for OBJ users. So use 1.5.2. Uh, so just scroll down a bit and you go in, in, uh, click install on this. Just go download. Yeah, go put it here. Sounds good. Now uh, that was a. Uh, this is how we go use normal open CB function. So if you want to do like uh, color detection, let's say if you want to just detect a red cone, you can use that. But now we want to get the plugin so we can use able tags here. So we're going to scroll down again. And now we go download the latest release, release here. So here, and just go stop. So that's basically how you're going to get the dependencies. And now we're going to upload them onto our Onboard Java console. Alright, so now I opened on my Java, which you can always do on your browser by going to 192.168.43.1 colon 8080. And now we're going to be uploading external AAR files. How do we do that? So we go click on this upload files button on the top left. And we're going to click on both of these. And if it works correctly, it's just going to say it's going to take some while. When it's done, you can click on the close button. Yep. So as you can see, the able tag has already been uploaded. So now we're just waiting on the OpenCV um, open package. Great. Now that both of our files have uploaded, we're going to uh, copy some sample code I made. So here we're going to, um, I'll post the link in the description, but basically I used code from um, the OpenFTC team who made this whole thing possible. So shout out to them. Um, and I edited it a bit. So we will have three different tags we could scan. Uh, I, I went through more detail on this on the original Able Tags video on Android Studio. So if you're ever interested on learning more about this code, you can always check that. But a quick run through is that BC will start streaming the camera here. And while it's in it, it'll start looking for your left, middle, or right. And here, when you finally start it, so when the start command came, it's going to tell you what tag it scanned. And you do your basic art on stuff, like moving forward, maybe cycling some cones if you can. And then at the end, you're going to park by doing putting different um, moves here, uh, uh, different moves. So if it's left, you might want to just set the uh, drive chain to move left. Go middle, same thing with going right. And if we couldn't scan it, you still wanted to like at least try to do something. So either you could just have nothing here, um, or you could just like move it to the left, which is your lucky number, you know? So yeah, so this is our uh, example tally up. Um, so if you want to just test it, make sure the camera's working out, so just using this. I also made an auton template, which is basically the same code, but it's an auton, so you can build instantly from here to, um, and you can start changing it immediately. And then finally, the pipeline, which is probably the core of it, um, it's 
It's basically the same as what OpenFTC made. It's basically used um, the attack detector GNI to uh, start detecting it in Grayscale. So yeah, so what we're going to do is actually we're probably just going to um, run through these two files. So if we want to add this anytime soon, that's totally fine. It's pretty much the same thing as this, except it's an auton. So first we're just going to uh, copy um, copy autonomous in an example. Um, thing is, uh, I'll send. I'll put this in the description. So no need. Um, uh, that's why you can go to search it up. So now I'm just gonna change the Wi-Fi. Then go over here, and then make sure whenever you add files it's in team code. Uh, just to be safe because you don't want to add it into external libraries by accident. So even the default file is. Um, uh, default location is in team code. So the name is able tag auton in an example. Let's see if I got it right. Autonomous in a detection example. Got long. Alright. And then we can skip all this because we just go copy paste. And then we click here. Control all until we if we build it now we go to the arrows because we need copy of pipeline as well. So here's a pipeline. Um, this is a pipeline. Copy. Yeah, it doesn't work. So we'll just manually copy this, which is totally fine. Alright. And the name for this is April Tag Detection Pipeline. So add file. April Tag Detection. Tag detection pipeline, we'll skip everything else. It's okay. We go here and then there we go. Sure everything's right. Oh yeah, you also might need to change the package name. So I assume you you would make an auton folder. That's what some teams do to organize it. But if it, if it's building an ML, just remove the auton if it's right inside your team code folder. Um and this is all fine, yeah. Sounds good. Alright, so now we go build. And we got some medals. Let's see. Cannot find symbol. So we probably just did a smaller arrow somewhere. It's really fine. Oh. Did I forget to change the package? Yeah. I didn't know it's all on here. That's okay. Now it should work. Yep, build successful. So now we are ready to dead out our um either driver station or your driver station phone, and you're just gonna turn it on and connect to a robot. Great. So now that your um driver station phone or hub is ready, um now um you're just gonna go to configure bot so we can get the webcam um, set up. So if it's your first time using it, um, make sure we gotta set it up. So make sure your webcam is plugged into a USB port onto the control hub or you can use the ultra USB hub on expansion hub. So basically um, you'll make a configuration, it can be called anything. You go to edit and then all you go do is first make sure once you get it's um, plugged in, you just go press the scan button. Scan and then after you wait, it should be saying it can sense webcam one. It's kind of, um, there's a lot of glare right now, but it, told, it tells me that there's webcam one scan. And make sure the name is webcam one. So then you go press save and then go back. This, that's restarting. Now we're going to test in action. So it's all done. Okay. So I'm going to go to teleop since I copied the teleop code. Tap on the April tags in a detection example. So we go press in it first. Now what we can do is actually see the camera stream. So you will click the three dots on the right and then tap camera stream. And as you see, if you look closely, it actually detects the 
uh, cone, which is really cool because currently uh, I'm in dark lighting. So as you can see, it's an example of how um, how the system this thing is to change, which is why it's really good to see. But yeah, it's a dark room with just blue lights, and it's always scanning it. So now you can also try it with the other sides as well. But basically, another cool thing it does is um, it also tells you like info about it. Um, I wouldn't trust the detection, the distance from it because we haven't queued like the focal length and it's not really needed from, for this year's competition, but it's just another, uh, another cool feature to says. So yeah, that's basically how you would use, um, um, April tags in your code. So now why, why, why do, why do we go from this, right? So we'll go back to the code again. So now, um, once again, you can also make this an auton by just copying that or simply you can just make this. At autonomous, spell the dog. Yeah, okay. And after that, you can also, if you want, just change it from here. You wouldn't, you don't need this while off mode is active. So you can just do that. So now, let's say you had like a drivetrain. So if it goes left, uh, let's say we want to move it left, like I don't know, like 500 encoder ticks or something. So, or we can just set it to power, left dot set power, come on, I don't know, I'm a, yeah, let's assume you're using mechanism, so if we want to move left, see I don't remember, but right front dot set power, I don't know, one, left back dot set power, you know on, I'm probably long, so just refer to like the mechanism chart, but this is just an example. And obviously I'm doing errors because I don't have these defined in my low bar right now. But yeah. So this is an example. Um, and then, I don't know, you can do the opposite of this uh, for the right trajectory here. And then for middle, technically, unless you're already not in the middle spot, don't have to do anything. So yeah, that's just an example where we get from. If we have like code shad by all of this. Oh yeah, by the way, um, if it doesn't sense it, you go have to add some default code here because if this is not if we don't have a tag of interest we can't find the id value from it because you'll get a null point example exception which is basically an error the robot throws if it uh, if it's trying to read something for object that it does not exist so and then here you can add common code so like move forward because you might want all of them to move forward because the signal zones are one tile ahead at least so yeah, this is basically uh, uh, how to use um, able tags in onboard Java. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And we are planning to drop more videos actually soon on uh, advanced stuff like pretty cool. Like uh, I'm thinking of making a, a cone tracking video um, if, uh, if it's uh, popular enough. So please do leave uh, something in the comments if you have any ideas for what videos you would like to see us next. Thank you.